Welcome class. How is everyone doing? In this lesson, we are going to do continuous writing for SPM Paper 1, Section B. Writing an argumentative or factual essay. Based on past year SPM question. Hopefully, at the end of this lesson, students will have no more fear when trying to answer this question. The contents are a list of SPM past year questions. Step one, read and understand what the question wants. Step two, prepare three to five main points to elaborate. Step three, how to write an introduction. Step four, how to elaborate a main point. Step five, writing the conclusion. And lastly, the summary of the entire lesson. This is the list for SPM year 2018. Five questions in section B. Marks 50, time suggested, one hour or 60 minutes. There are two categories. The first category is descriptive or narrative essays. There are three such questions for year 2018. Question one, question three, question five. The second category is argumentative or factual essay. There are two questions. Question two, question four. This lesson is to guide students on how to write better argumentative or factual essays. Because many students face difficulties when trying to answer this question. Let's read the question. Some people complain that they have no time. Discuss the reasons why they might say this and suggest how they could use their free time. Now understand what the question wants. There are two things that the question wants. The first one is to state reasons why people complain that they have no free time. And the second thing that the question wants is to give suggestions on how to use time better. Step two, prepare three to five main points to elaborate. Before starting to plan the main points, students need to set or figure out who they are focusing on, adults, children, teenagers, from where, in the city, Countryside, why? So that the points elaborated are strong and relevant. The sample that we are going to use focuses on working adults in the city. The bubble map shows how the plan is done. Come up with five reasons. Reason one, reason two, reason three, reason four, reason five. And then the suggestion for every reason. Step three. How to write an introduction. Number one, make it short and brief, not more than two sentences. Why is that? Because students need more time to prepare and write the main points where more marks are awarded. Number two, how? Look at the question. Use the keywords or phrases found in the question to help you construct sentences for the introduction. And number three, time. Prepare and write out the introduction in not more than eight minutes.
identify the keywords or the phrases and try to repeat them in the introduction as shown here. In the same sentence, try to answer question such as, what do they need the free time for? Who are they and where are they from? Next, try to mention what is needed or going to be mentioned in the essay. The first are the reasons. The second is the suggestions. Step four, how to elaborate a main point. Elaborating a main point in a paragraph. In this lesson, students will try to construct six sentences in a paragraph when elaborating a main point. The first sentence states the main point. What is it about? Sentence two, define the keywords or phrases in the main point. Sentence three, gives a reason why what has been mentioned in the previous sentence is important or serious. Sentence four, gives an example to what has mentioned in sentence three. Sentence five, states consequence of what happens. And lastly, make a conclusion. Example of elaborating the first main point, which is paragraph two, which is the first reason, which is too much online time. Sentence one in paragraph two, stating the main point. The first reason, many people in a big city complain that they have no free time to practice a healthy lifestyle is because they spend too much time being online. Purpose of this sentence. Underlined words are taken from paragraph one, the introduction, to make this paragraph looks connected to the introduction. Sentence two, define. This means using their free time to log in to social media or playing online games. Purpose of sentence two. It defines they spend too much time being online from sentence one. Definition is needed because it directs where the elaboration or argument is leading to. Do you remember this bubble map? From earlier on, reason one is taken from here. Let's look at sentence three in paragraph two, the first reason. This is serious because they tend to spend a long time online once they log in into any social media or online games. Sentence three explains why using free time, logging to social media or playing online games in sentence two is a big deal. Let's look at sentence four. Example, for an example, when a user log in to social media, such as Facebook, or play online games, such as PUBG, the amount of time spent will be at least an hour or two. The purpose of this sentence is to give an example to prove what has been said or mentioned in sentence three. Do you notice that the beginning of the sentences has been colored or highlighted in red? These are actually the tags for that particular sentence. The tags will tell the readers what that sentence is about. 
Is it a sentence that gives an example? Is it a sentence that states reason? Or a sentence that makes a conclusion? It helps a reader to understand better, foster what is being written. Let's look at sentence 5, stating consequence. It starts with the words, as a result. As a result, the free time that they should have used to exercise or to prepare healthy food at home has been wasted on being online. Purpose of sentence 5, it shows the consequence what happens because of sentence four to show how serious it is? Sentence six, the last sentence. Here, we can use this sentence to make a suggestion. So, the best suggestion for people who have no time because they tend to use their free time to go online is to prioritize what they need to do. Purpose of sentence six. It closes the paragraph. Students can make a suggestion here because it is required by the question. When all the six sentences are combined, this is how the paragraph will look like. Sentence one. The main point. Sentence two. It defines. Sentence three. It shows why. Sentence four. Gives an example. Sentence five. Shows the result. Sentence six, the conclusion. Important note, each sentence is built and linked to the information in the previous sentence. For example, sentence two explains sentence one. Sentence three gives reasons to sentence two. Sentence 4 is an example for sentence 3, and so on. Each sentence begins with a word or phrase to show what that sentence is about. Remember the highlighted words in red? This method not only helps to produce an organized elaboration, it also helps students to write more. Repeat step four to elaborate the second and third main points. Example of elaborating the second main point, which is paragraph three, which is the second reason, long working hours. You can refer to the bubble map earlier on. See how the sentences begin with words in red that are tags to these sentences, stating what that sentence is about. Example of elaborating the third main point. Paragraph four, the third reason, long hours on the road. If you have noticed previously, at the end of every paragraph, the number of words is stated for this paragraph 
there are already more than 100 words. From paragraph 1 to 4, there are already more than 350 words. Therefore, students can stop here and proceed to write the last paragraph, which is a conclusion. If the number of words have not reached 350 words yet, students can proceed to write or elaborate the fourth and the fifth main points before writing the conclusion. Step five, writing the conclusion. The last paragraph. Note, write briefly. One to two sentences are sufficient enough. Number two, how you can summarize your main points you have mentioned in paragraphs two, three, four. Take a look at this example. As a conclusion, people who live in the city and complain that they have no time for the reasons mentioned above can actually find time to do what they want if they prioritize what they need to do. If they notice the words circled here. They are the same words that appear in the question and in the introduction. This is to remind readers what this essay is about. And this part is a summary of the main points or the things that you have mentioned in the previous paragraphs. Summary of the module or summary of this lesson. Paragraph 1, introduction. Two to three sentences. Do not spend too much time here. Paragraph two to six, first main point to fifth main point. Six sentences in each paragraph. Study how each sentences begins. There are a few options here. Paragraph seven, the last paragraph, the conclusion, summarize the main points mentioned. That is all for this lesson. See you soon in the next lesson everyone. Thank you.